dear friends this is my tutorial 37 in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to calculate oxidation state of transition metal complexes using gaussian and multi wfn softwares so these are the three metal complexes i have chosen to study the oxidation state of the transition metals first one is ferrocene second one is hexacyano ion complex third one is hipt mo metal complex so for uh, this ferrocene total charge is zero because this c5 h5 is minus one this uh, second c5 h5 minus one so if you this is the fe2 plus so overall charge is zero so if you see this extra cyano ion complex so actually this is the six is uh, minus six uh, minus is there so this is fe3 plus the total charge is three minus six minus so if you subtract 6 minus 3, uh, you can get that uh, overall uh, minus 3. The total charge is minus 3 for this complex. So if you see this HIPT MO metal complex, the overall charge is 0 because this molybdenum 3 plus. So this uh, 3 nitrogen atom uh, carries uh, 3 negative uh, uh, electrons. So if you subtract 3 minus with uh, 3 plus, you will get total overall charge is 0. So in this tutorial, I'm going to uh, tell you how to calculate of oxidation state of this metal complexes. So if you want, you can also test these things. I will share three uh, system files to you. You can download it, uh, that files, you can do it yourself. So first we will see our folder. This is the uh, our, uh, oxidation state calculation folder. So here you, I see that I have made different three kind of files. These are the three system. So I will tell you uh, this HIPTMO ligand. You can also do yourself with this uh, two system. I will share all the record input uh, output files here. You can use it. So this is the HIPTMO ligand. So this is the input file for HIPTMO ligand. I will show you that one. So first we have to do optimization before going to do any uh, any calculation property calculation first we have to do the geometry optimization this is the very important so this is that input file the first one is you have to put percentage chk equal to the system name then put start chk the second third lines are memory and n pro shared so this is that uh, I, I used to optimize this system using windows version so that's why i mentioned 6mw and 2 if you are using that linux version this may vary based on your supercomputer configuration. The fourth one is you have to put this hashtag here, then you have to put theory. Which theory you are going to use? Just you can put. Then you can put this general uh, uh, keyword in root, root section. You can put this uh, default. Then you have to put optimization frequency. So Gaussian first will do geometry optimization. Uh, after that, it will do the frequency calculation. So that's all. Then you have to give space. Then you have to put the system name HIPT MO. This is the HIPT MO ligand. Then you have to give space. Then you have to give total charges of the system. The total charge is zero. This is the spin multiplicity is two. So this is the Cartesian coordinate of that ligand. Then you have to give space. Then you have to put the what are the atom present in the molecule. This is the light atom. The carbon, nitrogen, H is there. Just I put here. Then you have to put 0, then put 631 G star basis set, then you have to put that 4 stars. That means end of the this uh, basis set. So this only for light atom, this basis set. Then you have to put um, metal complexes. Here we have only the molybdenum metal, just you have to put MO and O. If you have more metal, just you have to type here also. If you have FE here, you have to put FE also. That's all. Then you have to put 0. Then you have to put lanl 2 dz basis set. Then 4 star. Then you have to use phase. Then put molybdenum. Again, you have to put 0. Then you have to lanl 2 dz. Then you have to give some space and save it. So here, this, this basis set for valence electron for MO. So this is the ECP electron of uh, this MO, this, this base set. We have to give 2 if you are doing metal systems. So that's all. You can submit this calculation your Windows system. It will complete within uh, 2 to 4 hours so no problem so after optimization you will get that output file so this is the output file for 
HIPT ligand molybdenum metal complexes so so i will show you that uh, energy of uh, this system so after be after before starting that uh, frequency calculation you will see one for, uh, paragraph like uh, things so this is the, that one you, from here you can get the total energy of the system this is the hf you can see you can find it hf equal to minus 524.1611387 is the the total energy of the, the system then you can see the uh, it will run the frequency calculation using that optimized Cartesian coordinate so this is that uh, frequency so if you want to see that uh, thermochemistry for this one also you can uh, get it this is the frequencies so here you can see thermochemistry see this is the thermochemistry if you are doing Gibbs free energy calculation you, you have to come here you have to take this uh, important energies the zero point energy this uh, four energies thermal correction to enthalpy thermal correction to that enthalpy gives free energy and the thermal correction to the energy these are the important energy you have to use then this is that entropy of the system if you want to take separately each entropy you can uh, take this one one zero 3.426 entropy of the system if you go down you will see the normal termination of Gaussian 09 calculation that means our calculation completed without any error so that's all so if you want to view this uh, output file using Gaussian we can also view so for that we have to open our Gauss view open your Gauss view So drag your uh, output file into that Gauss view. So this is that uh, HIPT MO metal complex, molybdenum complex is the optimized one. So we have to take this optimized coordinate for MO calculation. So that's very important. So if you want to see, if you want to see vibrational frequency also, we can see, see and also we can also see the summary of the results here. So if you go to result, just you can click summary you will get the summary of the things this that uh, energy so there is no imaginary frequency so we used this the basis set the total charge is zero spin multiplicity doublet so we did not mention any solvation you mentioned none so this is the things so if you want to see that uh, vibrational frequency just click vibrational frequency you will see this small window if you want to start vibration just you click start vibration you can see that vibration so if you type second click second it will show the second vibrational so if you want to click last one so this is the nh vibration so likewise you can uh, get everything so if you want to stop just click stop and close it so you can save this cartesian coordinate for your um, oxidation state calcula uh, calculations that means mo calculation so go to save just you can uh, make one folder just you can uh, save this file here you can see Gaussian input file dot gif dot com just you can save it you can close this so our uh, see this is the one we have saved this is the optimized Cartesian coordinate of this HIPT MO metal complex so we have to use this Cartesian coordinate to do the MO calculation so I, I already prepared that MO calculation folder I will show you the input file for MO calculation so this is the MO calculation folder so here I mentioned that similarly the optimization we have to give so here I have put the HIPT MO molecular orbital calculation that's why I mentioned added that keyword here so then only we will know which calculation we are doing so similarly you have to put that memory and the end pro share and also this uh, root section keyword so here you remove your optimization frequency then you put IOP open bracket 6 by 7 equal to 3 if you put this uh, keyword you will the uh, Gaussian will print all molecular orbital of this uh, system then you have to put space then you have to give the name of the system then space then you have to put total charge spin multiplicity optimized Cartesian coordinates then put space similarly the optimization you have to give your basis set here that finally you have to put a uh, uh, space in order to get uh, some space then only it will run otherwise you will get some error because the Gaussian did not recognize that input file is ended like that it will think that's why you will get error so for that just you have to give some face then it uh, calculation will run without any error 
that's all this is that output file for uh, mo calculation this is no need to see so we want to only the chk files of uh, this one so if you do this mo calculation it will generate the chk files that's very important so where we have to get the chk files we have to go to that uh, scratch folder so i will show you where to go and get so you have to go to the your gaussian 09 installation folder if you go inside you will get uh, this kind of file name you can find your scratch here so if you find your scratch you will get your uh, the all uh, chk files are will be here only so you have to take from here so i did that calculation different computer that's why i did not uh, available that uh, chk file so i will show you the chk file for uh, that one so I already copied for that chk file so this is that uh, hiptmo chk files so i will put here then only you will understand easily so this is that uh, hiptmo chk file after completion of calculation you will get this file so this file you have to convert into chk to fchk file so this is also very simple and easy also i will tell you how to convert that one just you can open your uh, Gaussian 09 So here you can see utilities. Just to click utilities. From utilities you will see form check. If you click form check, so it will open that folder. Uh, we have to give the path of that file. So just we have to mention that path. So it will locate that chk file here. Just we can open. So you see. It will finish immediately within uh, uh, 5 seconds. That's all. Uh, calculate that uh, conversion is finished. Then we have to uh, close it. That's all. So our CHK file now generated. So this is the C new CHK file generated from that uh, CHK file. You can see that date and time 10, 10.37. Now only generated. So now we will use this CHK, uh, FCHK file uh, to get our oxidation state of this MO. This is very, very simple only. Just uh, please watch my video fully. So now we will uh, open our uh, multi WFN software. So if you want to download multi WFN, just uh, uh, go to Google, just type in multi WFN, you will get a download page. So there are different kind of uh, multi WFN available in that Mac OS, Linux and Windows. And just go for Windows. That is very easy, user friendly. You will get your uh, this version. Just you can you have to download it and extract that folder. There is no installation of this multi WFN directly. You can use it. So now we will open our multi WFN. So this is the multi WFN application. Just double click. It will open. okay so after double click it will open like that so now you have to press enter so it will uh, open one for uh, one path for one small window so we have to give our uh, uh, path of that uh, file so this is the our uh, pathway of file this is here only our fchk file is there just to copy so this path and you have to uh, paste it here so here you can see uh, our folder is is there or uh, what are the so fchk file is there just to click fch then click open so now that uh, main function menu loaded so we have to do some important things here so here only we have to do carefully everything so you have to choose 19 orbital localization analysis this is the important in order to get our oxidation state of the system just to type 19 enter so here you have to type 1 so localized occupied orbital only just you type 1 and enter so now after completion of the step what we have to do we have to type 8 orbital composition analysis we have to type 8 just you type 8 now you will see that this option orbital composition analysis option here you can see 100 
this is the evaluate the oxidation state by loba method just you type 100 and enter now we have to put this uh, input percentage of threshold to determine the oxidation state 50 50 is commonly used so we have to type 50 here just type 50 and enter so we will uh, get our oxidation state so this is that oxidation state of uh, one mo atom is three plus so already i told you now that oxidation state of molybdenum is three plus that's why we are getting three so uh, nitrogen these are the different kind of things so this is not necessary so we will focus on only the transition metals so if you want to do that uh, excess i know iron complex also you can do it you will get your oxidation state and also you can also try ferrocene ferrocene also you will get your oxidation 2 plus so uh, you, 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 if you uh, do that uh, excess ion of ferro you will get that 3 plus so this is the one simple method you can uh, uh, do this method in order to get the oxidation state of your metal complexes so thank you for watching my video if you really like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for my future video update thank you thank you so much for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and share to your friend and support my channel thank you thank you so much enjoy